surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far guys, Unif Essentials here. Today's video is a requested one by an elderly subscriber here on my channel and she wanted a way to pass out time during this period and she wanted something that she won't necessarily need to stand or move about or stretch or whatever. She needed something just simple and also to pass the time. So then I figured what is the one item that everybody's gonna have stocked up in their home? Exactly, grocery bags. So I'm gonna be using grocery bags to make a DIY today. And I'll be making an outdoor DIY rug with grocery bags. You're gonna need a lot of grocery bags. And this is how I cut the bags into pieces and started working on them. This is something a lot of people have tried out before. So I just figured, hey, I can try it out too. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. All I'm doing is making sure that I get long strips for the DIY project. These are really thin, but if you like, you can double the bags to make it thicker. But I'm going to be using the bags just the way it is, one at a time. I have both long and short pieces, so I'm going to be taking pieces that are of the same height and take just three and start braiding. I'll use a thumbtack to hold all three pieces in place. I'm going to try my best to explain this. So you're going to have the right going in, pushing it upward, and then the left going in, pushing it upward. And then you take the right again, pushing it into the middle, pushing it upward. And then the left going to the middle, pushing it upward. And then the right to the middle, pushing it upward. And the left to the middle, pushing it upward. And you keep going on and on and on till you get to the end. Now, there are other ways of doing this. Some people would actually take the middle part and put it at the bottom. Now, it's going to be hard to explain, but this is just one of the ways you can braid. You can braid it as tight as you like, but I didn't make mine too tight so that it doesn't become too thin. When I got to the end of one set, I picked another three pieces and I attached them to the other three pieces and continued braiding. Because it's getting really long, I'm going to use tape to hold it down as I go. I kept doing this until I was done with the pieces that I have at hand.
My braiding is not the neatest, but it should do the job. I tied the end of the final three pieces and then I removed the masking tapes. I'll keep this aside and repeat the same thing but using white trash bags. I'm using white trash bags because it's what I have and I want the design to come out white and gray. Like I said earlier, I'm using the pieces one at a time and they are thin. So if you like, you can add two or three and make it as thick as you like. I'm making a circular rug and then I'll be using this fabric fuse to hold the braided pieces together as I'm making the pattern. Now this is one way to do it, which is really time consuming. So another option is to use a hot glue gun. When I was done with the white, I then went ahead to start adding the braided Walmart grocery bags. This is what it looks like for now and then you can also use it as a bag to store little items inside. This was kind of small so I added more braided Walmart bags. This is a rug that you can use outdoors or in a courtyard. 
But if you're into indoor rugs, I made one some time ago and I will leave a link for that in the description box below. I'm praying for you all and I'll strongly advise that you do not dwell on the negativity that's happening around because that alone can affect your health. Just stay prayerful, stay together, and then keep yourselves sanitized at all times. Thank you all so much for watching. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.